That's a good speed, guys. Thank you very much. That really works this time of day. So, Long Beach Grand Prix, 2024, first lap of the weekend. First official lap. Pace car team, about 7.15 in the morning. Job sites. Track looks good. Just happy to be out here. How's it going? It's going well. How are you? Fantastic. Don't touch the wing. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. Three and a half years of hard work. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> so, don't you <I'm> smiling? <laughs> you got the freshest paint, that's why. Yeah, not yet. That paint's been on there since 2015. Did you guys go to the bar last night? Or did you guys come No, we went to the So we are down here, Long Beach Grand Prix, Formula Drift. We've got the MX-5 down here. My hot pit car, 2017 Formula Drift car. And uh, we're actually inside the Long Beach Arena. Concerts, festivals, I've been down here for different things. And today we've actually got the race cars in here. So it's pretty cool to be part of the Long Beach Grand Prix. Be down here with all the other invited uh, super drift drivers and be inside the arena it's just a very neat effect and uh, it's neat to be part of the show and so basically what's going on is they invite eight formula drift drivers down to the long beach grand prix and we put on a demonstration event um kind of a mock competition we get trophies there's prize money so it's it's battle out there but it's not part of the formula drift series so there's no points at stake um, so a couple of the drivers, I think, have brought in their backup cars, just like myself, or maybe testing new vehicles. Um, Jonathan Cash brought his new Cadillac, which I think is really cool. 
forest wang thorns down here his new build and then Stuky brought his new build down as well along with rome so it's actually a really uh, kind of a really good event quite a few new cars fresh to this year and a couple uh old cars or backup cars depending on what people brought down and very unique venue i like how uh cash has got his exhaust exiting out of his carbon kevlar deck lid you always see neat things in formula drift so out here at long beach with the mx5 since it's our hot pit car we've had to make a couple changes to the setup to get it redialed in for formula drift competition it's different tire compounds a little bit of a different track format uh, driving style so we're dialing the car back into formula d specs and uh, formula drift also has a specific lighting setup that is used in competition and so it's basically a load sensitive light and uh, as we accelerate it goes from green to blue kind of showing acceleration and then under deceleration back down uh, blue green yellow red and uh, as you get harder on the brakes or you're exceeding what formula drift likes to see as far as a slowing down situation it'll light up red so it kind of gives the judges knowledge on how the driver is handling the car and that can have a lot to do with the car's setup as well if the car's set up good then it should be handling nice and smooth and i think the team was snacking but of course we snack on doritos because we're dorito powered so we've been having some fun this weekend because it's just not as uh, stressful as the general Formula Drift full competition weekends. A lot of similar layout on this car to our Formula Drift RX-8. Um, same thing, rear mount radiator. Um, you can actually see the water pump, so electric Mazir water pump. Our fuel cells mounted right above the, uh, the subframe with the winter's quick change just below, trying to keep that weight over the rear axles. But uh, with this car, it's a lot shorter wheelbase, so it transitions faster. Um, and we have an issue where the back tire smoke actually comes into the cabin because the, uh, the tires are so close to the driver cabin. So we actually have a, a, a little bit of a, a firewall or a panel, same uh, material we use for our front window, to uh, basically create a division that's not super visible to the crowd but helps create the low pressure point behind uh, the driver cab so the smoke and air has a tendency to swirl back here versus in the cabin. And although I did love running it as a convertible, having the, the false roof right here also helps with that effect. And then if you're wondering why we have holes in the front window, it's the same thing. We're trying to get air into the cabin so we can create high pressure in the cabin and low pressure behind the driver cabin so I, action, so I can actually see where I'm going. Um, in Formula Drift, we can't run the full upright wing. It's part of the rules. Uh, so we've just got the kicker on there. And uh, similarly built, this car is a Wise Fab in the back. Um, winter's quick change, and we've got quite a bit of adjustability with the five link. It is built off a NC chassis, so same as Mad Mike's car uh, overseas. Both of these, what look like ND MX-5s, were built actually in 2014-15, uh, so it was just prior to the ND being released. And so in both cases, uh, with myself and Mike, Mazda helped us rebody uh, NC MX-5s into ND MX-5s. A lot how a lot similar to how uh, BMWs or S chassis or different cars get nose lifts or body kit lifts. So it's kind of why you have such a good view of the front end and why we're able to run WiseFab is we basically cut the nose off, mounted all fresh body work, and the NC MX-5 and the RX-8 share subframe mounting pickup points. So it helped the chassis development of the car a lot and it's one of the reasons I like running the MX-5 alongside the RX-8 is it's basically a shorter chassis version of the RX-8. So a little faster to respond, a little quicker um, from point A to point B, faster transitions, but the suspension dynamic and the car handling actually is very similar to what the RX-8 is. It's just a, a, a different version of it. It'd be amazing if Mazda had have actually built uh, an in-between version, like the RX-7 size with this suspension. You know, fingers crossed that maybe Mazda will continue to push the development of the sports cars and rotary cars, and maybe uh, in the near future we'll see something that's in-between 
the size of the MX-5 and the RX-8 because I think that'd be a really good drift chassis depending on what Mazda puts out hopefully in the near future maybe like an RX-9 or something like that but for right now we got MX-5s and we got the RX-8 and we are building an FD3S for competition but we just haven't really uh, brought it to the channel yet and uh, we're still working on the chassis itself and some of that so we'll talk about that project a lot more soon see the uh, interior is a little bit more tightly compact compared to the RX-8 NASCAR X-Bar on the driver's side to give me a little more elbow room similar lay down e-brake HGT sequential so similar setup but again just a smaller interior alright so we're getting ready very soon we're gonna roll out from the arena and uh, go make some laps on the formula drift course here in downtown Long Beach appreciate everybody enjoying what we're doing very similar engine setup to the RX-8 we're just gonna go rip it up, have some fun, super drift demo. Thanks for watching, KMR. Make sure to follow, check out the merch. Let us know what you wanna see. That's a brat. Do it. Look at that, we got a packed house down here, Long Beach, bunch of great cars, great drivers. This is gonna be rad. The dude, we're, we're stuck in the buildings. I'm just just filming. There's too many cell phones going on right now. I was trying to go with my glasses, that's why. Oh, those are rad. They were pretty sick earlier. Yeah. Ah, it won't go live. Rome's high tech. He's got the, the go goggles. Live, it won't go live. Got the glasses. That is legit. Oh, oh, he's live. Rome's live. We're just videoing. Hey. I'm hey. alive. Sick. <laughs> what happened here? You lost, lost it. You already lost a fender. Woo! Woo! What you doing over there? You're partying. Yeah. <laughs> Cash is going hard already. The crowd is into it. So it's just wild to be down here, pace cars all day, super drift at night. We just put the car together, so I really hope everything holds in there. It ran good the few practice laps we got, so we're going to send it. Down here on the start line, getting ready to start the IMSA race. We gotta get the cars out here. Just hanging out. Saying I should. It's a fun car to drive. Got the jumpers coming in. Cars 
Up a little bit. Taking a ride on the bikes, the racetrack downtown. Let's bring them out, please. Nate, let's bring them out. Come on out the crossover to start and finish. Just pass. Stop about where we go. So last pace car duty of the weekend, starting the uh, GT race from the back straightaway. Just getting ready to roll out.